Hello Libra and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy you're here with me today. This is your weekly reading from July 22nd to the 28th. So I will be uh, concentrating on your incoming energies. We are going to do some tarot cards. We're going to get some spirit and angel messages and then I'm going to do your angel number and affirmation as we close out the reading. So there is going to be multiple messages coming through. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you find that even parts of it resonate, please leave comments because it helps me to connect with your energy and I really do appreciate, appreciate your comments and I'd love to read them. Now, I have meditated and prepared the cards for your reading this week, but I would like to cleanse the space together. And we're going to do that by ringing of the bell, so please be mindful that you will hear a loud bell sound now. All right, Libra, let's get into your energies. Let's find out. Let's find out what's happening for you as we move through, the, through this, uh, this week. Please be mindful that we did have a full moon on July 21st, so we could be still feeling the effects, and we will feel the effects of that full moon for some time, for sure. So let's find out what those energies are. All right, Libra, what are the energies surrounding you as we move through this week? All right, you've got some flippers here. Let's get those out. We've got that one, and we've got that one. There we go. All right, so we're just going to get into your energies here. Number 17, action. All right, you're taking action. Definitely taking action towards something. You're not just sitting around and thinking about things anymore. You're ready to put. You're ready to put put some um, some energy into to everything that's coming into play for you. Number twenty two, yin and yang, really balancing out those energies. You know, again, you're really feeling that synchronicity of your energy. Um, it's uh, it's it's the benefit of having a passive and, a, and assertive energy. Um, there are times in our life when we need to be a little bit kind of go with the flow. And then there's other times where we need that yang energy where we're saying, okay, now it's time to take the action. Um, yin and yang, you could be working in synchronicity with somebody as well. So lots of nice partnerships here. Partnership energy, number 22, master number 22. And then number three, blossoming abundance. So again, everything is starting to really open up for you in a very abundant way. Um, again, I think that comes with uh, taking the action. Action is necessary for us to create our, our well-being, to create the things that we want in our life. And I believe that you're doing that with um, a really nice balanced um, energy. So three, blossoming energy. And number 53, magician in the mirror. You are at, at the point in your life where you, right now, during the course of this week, you are able to really manifest the things that you want. You're bringing everything that you want into your life, into your here and now. And you have the capability and the magic. You've got the tools that you need in order to facilitate all of this. You're taking the action towards the things that are important to you. You're evaluating what is important to you and you're bringing it all into fruition. All right, Libra, beautiful energies for you. So let's get right into, okay, Five of Cups flew out. We're going to put it back. Five of Cups is feeling a little sense of disappointment. It's concentrating on things that may have happened in the past that didn't work out in the way that you were hoping. And you're not looking at the, uh, you're not looking at all the wonderful things that do surround you. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think they have lots of messages for you today. All right. That was just, uh, that just kind of just flew out there. So let's start this again. Four of Wands. There's lots of celebrations. Let's get right into this, okay? Spirit Angels Guides. I want to know the action, the action that Libra needs to take during the course of this week. Let's find out what that is. There we go. You are definitely not sitting back. You're not just going with the flow. You're creating a sense of action here. Five of Swords and Seven of Wands. Okay, you're taking action because... Something has been said. There's been something with the Five of Swords energy. Something either has been said, something, uh, and you know what? You're standing your ground with it, all right? So you're taking the action necessary in order to either, um, I'm not going to say protect yourself. Um, you are going to come out feeling like a sense of victory here, but there is definitely, there could be something that has, has been said to you, and it's made you have to really fight for yourself. It's really made you have to stand your ground this week. So Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands is really all about taking the action to stand up for yourself against somebody or something, a situation that has, has 
it, it's something has been said that has not either been true or it's it's put you in the defense mode okay you're put in the defense mode now you're balancing out your energies here with the yin and the yang let's find out what's going on with the yin and the yang energy yin and yang beautiful balanced energy balance is what you love most libra um, balance is part of your every day so let's find out we just had the one flipper there and two of swords interesting another sword so something that somebody has said something ha that somebody has said or done has left you feeling in the defense mode and it, it's calling for you to take some action here you have to take some action the yin and the yang number 22 and then you get the number two two of swords it's you feel as if there is some sort of information you need that's why you're blindfold, blindfolded here and you can't make a decision until you can release that blindfold so there is a little bit of a disruption here so during the course of this week there is going to be some action required because in order for you to receive this blossoming abundance you are going to have to take some action towards i think somewhat defending yourself against something um and and when you are able to actually feel um that empowerment because you are going to be empowered to move forward here you're going to be empowered to make a decision um you'll be able to pull off that red the the red blindfold and you're no longer going to see the waters sort of be disrupt um, there is a little bit of a disruption here and it has something to do with opposing energies again the yin and the yang being balanced energy i think you have balanced energy but you could be dealing with somebody who is a little bit more assertive or maybe you need to be more assertive at this time you know and it, you have to take you have to have more of that assertive energy you have to bring that yang energy in order to help you to re to resolve some sort of some sort of a, a conflict so let's find out with this beautiful blossoming abundance there may be obstacles and challenges but it's leading you towards a blossoming abundance let's find out what that is all right and you got wow wow okay you got number 15 the devil and number eight of swords it's going to be interesting to clarify these i'm really feeling libra this week you are battling this indecision you're having here is because you are feeling like a, like a situation is being controlled and you're not liking that that's why you're having to stand up for yourself you feel as if either words or a situation has taken some sort of a control and you know that you're at a crossroads where you need to make a choice and the devil is number 15 capricorn energy it is about making some sort of a choice you feel like your hands are tied at this time because you don't have the information or the insight that you need in order to release yourself. Again, when you look at the Eight of Swords and you look at the Two of Swords, you're blindfolded and your back is turned towards all of these swords. Now, you don't have to stay in this energy. You can't, you can't allow a situation or a person to control this situation. Your blossoming abundance awaits for you and you have the capability of breaking free from this energy. But you have to make a choice. And until you receive some sort of clarity, you are not going to be able to make that choice. So let's find out with the magician in the mirror. Because you're manifesting something for your highest good here. So let's find out what that is. And then we're going to get clarifiers for all of this. Which is really going to help. All right. So you're manifesting some, some, some sort of new, um, some sort of new offer is coming into play for you. And it's something you've been manifesting. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. No wonder there's blossoming abundance. Okay. So even though there's some obstacles, some challenges that you're going to have to overcome, you're going to have to really, I think you're going to have to put on your, your yang energy. You're going to have to put on your assertive hat. And I think you're going to have to really ask for the answers. I really think that you're going to have to get this clarity and I think that you're going to be able to do it because it's going to help you and guide you towards making a better, more free de decision. Uh, you're not going to feel like you're making a decision based on your hands being tied. Nobody can make decisions if there's no clarity. So we need that clarity. You hold that power right now. You hold that magician's wand that allows you to manifest and bring in really great possibilities for yourself. Now with the Ace of Pentacles, it's one of the most abundant aces it really is the most abundant and most prosperous ace in the all of the tarot deck and really it is again this is something that's coming in and it's being offered to you and it's bringing you everything that you need to require to to bring uh, long-term stability 
I believe that there is some sort of chapters closing out in your life with number 21, the world. This is about things coming full circle. So you've got the closing out of cycles and the beginning of something new. I think you're ready to close out certain cycles in your life that maybe were forcing you, maybe making you feel like you were be con being controlled to make decisions that you knew were not going to be for your for your for your abundance but i believe that there is some sort of offer that's coming into play and i believe you're going to be communicated at that this week and that communication is what's going to help clear up a lot of this indecision and then you're going to be able to put a close to it for some of you it really could be opportunities that are going to help you travel the world you're going to travel to new experiences you're going to feel a sense of freedom here with this world card and again for some of you it could be again exploring new um places to um maybe new new places to work um, new places to live. Um, it's taking you on a whole new world journey. I believe you're going on a completely new journey. So now let's get your clarifying cards because you've got some major cards here that, um, that need some clarifying for sure. So with the five of swords and the seven of wands, you're really standing up, um, standing up for yourself here. You're not allowing, uh, you're not allowing anybody or any situation to get the best of you. You're empowered you are empowered to take the action that is necessary. You're, you're closing out or clearing up loose ends, loose ties here. Can we get one clarifier? One cl clarifier, please. For this Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. This is for Libra. There we go. Eight of Swords again. See, again, you're having to stand up for yourself, not only against, yeah, you know, I, you're even standing up for yourself against your own feelings. Um, the Eight of Swords is feeling mentally trapped. You're feeling as if, you know, you can't move forward. Again, you're wearing this blindfold. It's again, you're looking for all of this truth and this clarity, and it's coming up a lot in your reading here. It's because, you know, again, you're feeling like your hands are tied in some way, and you have to figure out how to break yourself free from that. There is action that is going to be required on your part in order to break yourself free. You can do that. You absolutely can do it, but you have to have, you have to be able to feel um, the strength of knowing that, that, that you, that you can do this, right? You have to have that inner willpower. So let's find out with the two of swords and the yin yang energy, because again, this is, you know, you're at a crossroads right now. You're like, okay, I don't want to I don't want this to be disrupting me anymore. This week could just be a lot of you really trying to make a, a, a decision. Well, the decision is going to require you to, wow. Well, Look at things from a completely new perspective, okay? So number 12, the hanged man. This is looking at things from new perspectives. It's, it's a, sacrificing a little bit of yourself, a little bit of your time. It's taking a little bit of a time out because in order to be able to move forward, sometimes we have to put ourselves in this position because we have to see the situation differently. How can you make a decision if you can't see all angles of it? You have to see it from a passive point of view and from an, aggr or an aggressive or an assertive point of view and that's why that balanced energy is there so take the time out that you need this week if it requires you taking a few little bit of delays it's going to help prepare you for this beautiful blossoming abundance that's coming into play because it's what you are manifesting into your life but we can't manifest positivity in our life if we're still trying to clear up old cycles. So it's important for you to clear up some of these old cycles. You've got the Eight of Cups, a lot of eights in your reading. You've got three eights. I want you to be mindful of number eight. Also be mindful number, number 17 in numerology is the number eight. And the number 53 is also the number eight in numerology. So eights are very significant. You are mastering something this week, even though it might seem like it's a slow process and there's uh, some obstacles and challenges that you're going through, it's actually preparing you for something that's even greater. Um, the eight of cups, you're definitely walking away from something with that full moon energy. I believe you consciously made that choice probably on the 21st of July during that full moon energy. You consciously made a choice that, you know what, I need to walk away from people, situations, or things in my life, I need to take the action to take that, uh, that emotional journey. I need to no longer look backwards. I need to look forward. And I need to not feel insecure or scared about what's going to happen. It might be a little unknown, but I am ready for this change. I am ready because I am seeing everything from this new perspective. And this new perspective is what's really helping me to open up my, myself to the, the, the knowledge and the, um, the information that I need to remove that blindfold. Now I can see everything for exactly the way that it needs to be. And now I know with my energy being balanced, I'm going to move into this blossoming energy. Beautifully. Bl blossoming energy, but blossoming abundance. 
So let's get a clarifier for number 15, the devil and the eight of swords. Let's find out if we can get one card for that as well. Just one would be helpful. And we got two. Wow, look at that. Number two. You got number two, the two of pentacles. You've been juggling things again, you know, and, and that's, you know, we, when we feel at a crossroads where we know we have to make decisions, we know that there's always two paths that we can go down. There's going to be the path, you know, it's, I, I sometimes feel like it's that, like the angel is on one shoulder and the devil is on the other shoulder. And it's like, okay, which I'm juggling, which, which way do I go? You know, because sometimes life just gets frustrating and you want to maybe take the easy path, but that's not always going to be the path that leads you to the abundance. I feel you're juggling a lot of things, whether you're juggling relationship, you're juggling relationships in the sense of, you know, trying to balance out your time for work and balance out your relationship. There's so much juggling going on. For some of you, you are juggling finances. Maybe you're juggling two jobs, two job offers. There's things that are really making you feel a little tied up at this time. And that's what that eight of swords is. And it's making you feel as if you're being controlled because when we're juggling things in our life we feel like there's a sense of something overpowering us and it's not allowing us to feel that sense of free will but that is all coming to a close with number 21 you got the world twice in in your reading here very very impactful again um, you're closing out that cycle in your life again if you've been feeling like you've been juggling things I think you're coming to I um, think you're coming to a point in your life where you're starting to make some really drastic decisions about what is a what abundance means to you because it's going to mean different things to different people but um, I think you are on a new world journey and again closing out certain chapters in your life so let's get the ace of pentacles and the world well you're definitely on a mission here oh you got two cards there wow wow there's so much new beginnings coming in for you but in order for you to to be able to make these beginnings you have to facilitate that action you've got to take that action to stand up for yourself and you have to release yourself from that eight of swords feeling trapped energy and uh, and, and allow yourself to walk away from all of those energies to open up the doors to something new cycles are definitely closing out for you and new beginnings are coming into play knight of wands is that action absolutely it's it's sagittarian energy it's an adventurer it's somebody ready to take the action you you are very determined and you are ready to move forward but you're ready to move forward quickly and and you are ready to do that because you have new offerings that are coming into play you've got two aces in this group grouping alone what you are manifesting is that i'm ready to take the action and i'm ready to move forward on a whole new adventure i'm closing out chapters in my life and i want to start new adventures in my life maybe those are world travel maybe they are taking you to new new destinations and new places that are unknown to you but they are but this is something that you've been wanting this is something that you have been trying to create for yourself and now the opportunities are coming into play for you with that ace of wands that fiery energy that that inspiration and the ace of pentacles the grounding energy towards prosperity and long-term success is all at your fingertips here and you are ready to move forward libra beautiful beautiful energy for you this week all right Let's get your uh, let's get your spirit messages. Let's find out what spirit would like to share with you. And let's see. This is for now. I'm gonna whoop, we're gonna take those. And that's everything. So you've got three beautiful messages from your spirits. Okay, your angels would like to reiterate to you: you are a peaceful warrior. Absolutely, you do not back down. You do not. You stand your ground. Archangel Ariel, thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. You're doing it with peace. All right. Beautiful. And then you need to open your heart. So Archangel Chamuel, thank you, Chamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. And that's important because, you know, again, when, when we feel indecision and we feel stress and we feel worry, you know, we have to open our heart because everything in our life is based on love. We would love of ourselves, love of the people around us, love of our love of, uh, of our blessings. And if you can open up your heart, it's going to help you um, to really help to achieve and bring all of this balance into your life. And it says, you are protected. So Archangel Michael, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So you are not alone on your journey. You are protected. Your spiritual team is there. All right, Libra, to close out your reading, let's get your angel number and the affirmation attached to it. So spirit angels guides, what would you like to share with Libra? Okay, you got, you got I think, two flippers and you did. All right, so you got number 61 and number 96. Okay, so let's start with self-love. All right, we're going to read that one. 
Number 61, self-love is always important and that's how you open your heart too because it's not just about loving others, it's about loving yourself as well. You need to focus and put your attention on loving and believing in yourself. So you're being encouraged to make your relationship with yourself your number one priority. You must keep that in mind. Uh, remember that you are, are an ongoing work in progress and you didn't choose and you don't choose to come here to be the perfect person with the perfect life. Everything in your life is a reflection of what you believe about yourself. So, so nurture yourself with love. Don't listen to what others are saying and don't dwell on any of that. You are stronger than you, than you know. And your affirmation with number 61 self-love is, I love and believe in myself and make my dreams come true. And that's absolutely true. Now, you also got number 96, forgiveness. So let's find out what, uh, what the angels would like to share with you for forgiveness. So it in indicates a time to forgive yourself and others for any past actions that may have caused you pain. And that could be what the, you know, the pain could be what people have said or this situation, you know, with the five of swords and the eight of swords. Um, it's time for healing, right? It's time to, to put a resolution. It's time to put closure to that. And so, in important, so it's important to know that to improve this current situation, that you, you need to encourage yourself to forgive people, situations, and behaviors from the past. By, reli be, by reliving past misfortune, you run the risk of attracting more of the same. But when you forgive, let go, and move on, you can make your dreams come true. You improve your prospects for the future when you practice acceptance and forgiveness. So your affirmation with this number 96 is I create a happier future as I accept and forgive the past. Very, very important. And we all really can take, take note of that in our own lives. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Libra, for joining me today. I hope that you found parts of this uh, are meaningful. I hope that you find parts resonate. If so, please again, leave comments. I appreciate it very much. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.